Good morning, everybody. Angie and I were getting ready to do an overnight backpacking in the uh, Superstition Mountains behind us here. It's getting up this morning. We're about to get out for breakfast and uh, notice the tire looked a little flat. Let's check the tire. Yeah, I can't even get to 10 PSI on there. Like, yeah, that's how low that's reading. So instead of starting a backpacking trip, we gotta figure out what to do with this tire. We'll start off by changing it. I already got the spare out. That was a challenge I didn't want this morning, but glad we got it under control. I think we'll still probably go to the trailhead, get our hike in, camp for the night. Probably camp the next night down this road. We're right next to the Peralta trailhead where we're going to be starting a hike. Yeah. We'll get this fixed after hiking. Well, it's 11.15 and Angie and I are finally at the Peralta trailhead. About to hike the Weaver's Needle Loop. Ooh, exciting. Let's go. So we are gonna hike around Weaver's Needle right there. We're right here. Fred, the best way to go is counterclockwise, I think. So we'll do that. Go all around here. Boom. This way. Going up, 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 up. I think the first half mile or so is like this. We're up, still going up. Yeah, I wish we weren't doing this in the middle of the day. <sighs> that tire. We made it over the saddle. I think the hike gets a little bit more flat and uh, even some downhill for a while. Only about a mile and a half into the trail, but we're already taking another short rest. Got this good shaded spot here, so we're taking advantage of it. Been going uphill for a little while now, had a decent climb. <sighs> Looks like it flattens out there for a little bit. I think we got a little bit more climbing to go before the end.
We're at this great view here taking a drink. Looks like we got another quarter mile to half mile to go of climbing. Weaver's needle waving at us on the distance. The trail is tough, but the views are stunning. Trail's pretty overgrown here on this part. Um, looks like this way actually, like that. Yeah, two things I'm glad we got right now. Long pants, so those cat claws are going at our legs. And also the trail marked on GPS because uh, we lose it in a few places. Beautiful mountains here. And as you can see, we're almost in the shadow of Weaver's Needle. Looking forward to that. Should be nice shade. At this point, we're kind of just looking for a campsite now. I think we're near about four miles into the hike, so about a third of the way through. Wow. You like that view? <laughs> that's, really, that's really awesome. That's really cool. Take a picture of me. Well, we can see our path ahead of us. It's like the trail goes down and back up there. Look at this. That might work. Can we fit a tent in here? Looks like there's spot over there. Oh man, look at that view. Oh, yeah, that's, that's enough space for a tent right here, don't you think? What do you think? Yeah. Good spot to camp? Yeah, that one. That spot looks like it's good. This will be a nice place. Back at it with the pad side chicken. I know you probably can't see well, but we're about to head to the tent. It's almost 8.30. We're gonna try, try, try to get up before 6 a.m. and hike before the sun comes out. Uh, I looked at the weather. We have phone service here actually. So I looked at the weather for tomorrow. Uh, there's a small chance of rain in the morning, but good chance of it being mostly cloudy so it'd be much appreciated we're a little bit lowish on water it's gonna look like we have like two liters per person so we're having to hold it back tonight and we're excited to hike what nine miles Ooh, exciting! <laughs> but we are going to the tent good morning Set an alarm for early 5.45 a.m. And it's almost seven now. I'm finally getting up. <laughs> Should have known. I wish we got up earlier though because check out this sunrise view. Well, I'm gonna get ready and get out so I can enjoy the beautiful view.
nice breakfast. Time to pack up camp and start hiking. The sun's coming up through the clouds. Still pretty overcast today, so hopefully it'll provide us nice shade. Better get hiking before it's too bright though. All right, we're pretty much packed up. Gonna start hiking soon. We're starting our day off with a couple miles of downhill hiking, and then uh, I think we have a decent elevation gain coming up. Nearly 2,000 feet. Again, thorny things. This is a wilderness trail. Woo, ow. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're now getting on the Dutchman's Trail. Trail 104. We took a short snack break at this dry creek bed. We're about to start the big uphill of the day. I think over the next four miles, we're gonna be going up uh, 13 to 1400 feet elevation. So we've definitely done harder now, but uh, it's not gonna be easy. All right, we are heading up the Peralta Canyon Trail now. This is the start of our ascend. I guess we're going up there somewhere. Making our way up the switchbacks. Hasn't been too bad so far. Pretty gradual actually. Uh huh. Oh, I noticed some other hikers crossing over the saddle and coming down this way. Looks like the trail's about to get steeper for us. We're getting closer. We're at the top of Fremont Saddle. I think this is the end of our uphill hiking for the day. We're gonna find a good place to eat, enjoy the view, and then uh, probably take a 30 minute break before hiking down to the trailhead. This looks really cool up here. I'll show you guys.
we are in the final mile. The trail's starting to get noticeably more gradual up the mountainside. Beautiful hike. Great overnight. Wish we could have got started earlier yesterday, but give us a nice full day of hiking today. Now we get to worry about where we're gonna get a new tire at. Here's the trailhead. All right, we made it the 12.4 mile loop. Almost 3,000 feet elevation gain around Weaver's Needle. Great hike, beautiful views. Did you enjoy it, Angie? Yeah, I really enjoy it. I'll say this is my favorite hike. And at the beginning, it was tough for her because her pack was kind of tough on her. We had to carry a lot of water, so that's saying something. Superstition, sir, are beautiful. This is a great introduction to them. One of the best feelings, take it off the pack to the left. Until next time. Actually, I still have to unpack. <laughs> Don't forget to unpack. This is what my hairs look like the whole time? Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh.